Okay, how's it going? Um, today I want to show you real quick, real easily, how you can um, look up any kanji. Um, all you'll need is uh, the Google Translate app, and um, you can look up how to pronounce or read um, any kanji that you um, may encounter, as long as you have a smartphone. So let's go ahead and dive straight into this. Okay, so here is my phone. And uh, basically, the first thing you want to do is um, open up uh, Google Translate, um, the app on your phone. So we'll go ahead and do that. And um, up in the top of the screen, right, you can see where it says like Japanese and English up here. And um, yours, your phone, though, it probably isn't going to say this. You'll need to switch um, the left side to be Japanese first and then the right side to English. Once you have that, you'll notice that there are these like three different options here. Um, you won't enter anything in the text, but you're going to want to go down here to this point uh, where it says camera. And um, once you click on camera, um, it's going to automatically um, take you to uh, the instant feature. And um, as you can see here in the bottom left, um, we have this like instant tool. What that basically does is it like tries to translate things in real time. So here's me holding um, a novel that I have, and the author is Naoki Matayoshi, and it did a good job of instantly, um, you know, translating his name back into English, or in this case, I guess Romaji for us. However, um, you'll notice though that like the instant feature down here at the bottom left, it isn't that helpful. Um, in most situations, like when I open up this book and show you like just like a normal page of text, um, or even the backside here, it did a pretty good job of recognizing the word fixed price, but mm, that was about it. Um, and as you'll see here, when I actually open this up and try to show you, you know, a full body of text, bam, look at it. <laughs> It all got erased. <laughs> um, so what ends up being more useful is not the instant um, feature, but it's actually this scan button down here in the middle. So when you're using this Google Translate camera stuff, you're going to want to first um, turn off instant, go to scan, and then get get kind of close and let your camera focus up on one single word that you're like trying to understand. So I'm going to focus on this word here, right? Um, let's pretend like I don't know what this word means, um, and I'm trying to figure it out. So, um, I'll take the picture and scan it, and, like, it's going to scan the whole image. And now what I'm going to have to do is actually, um, uh, touch just this word with my finger, and, like, go over it. I like that area, and there we go. And now you'll notice it showed up here at the top of my screen. Um... If I hit X, I can select a different word, um, or I could clear and you know, or select all like down here with these buttons down here. But what I really want to do, if I want to be able to learn, you know, how to pronounce this word, right? Like, um, I'm gonna have to actually hit this blue arrow right here. Um, but hey, here's the first thing. By just doing this, though, we already got our English definition, right? Very useful. Now let's say we want to be able to actually find out what the the reading, the pronunciation for this kanji is. Um, we can um, hit that right arrow, and then bam, it shows us right here um, the word kotoba, and um, that tells us how we can, um, you know, pronounce it. You can also like hit the little um, speaker um, button right here and hear the pronunciation. <laughs> and that's basically it. So um, I hope that helps. And if it does, let me know. Catch you in the next video. <laughs>